It's been a while since I had a video dropped on YouTube. On our last video, we were focused on how a switch and a hub works. In this video, we'll be taking it a step further. For those who don't know me, my name is Tawa Makube, the founder of Technology for All Academy. In our lesson today, we'll be configuring the management configuration of a Cisco switch. We'll be doing IP configuration for our switch, line VTY for remote login, line console for serial port login, and we also need to do the security for privilege mode or privilege exec so that when we are logged in remotely, we can be able to go to configuration or global configuration mode in order to configure our switch remotely. So without any waste of time, I've already got my packet tracer opened and on our working topology or on our uh, working interface, I have my switch and I have management PC and the management PC is connected with a console cable. I also have the network PC, which is the laptop that's connected with an Ethernet cable. I've already set up the IP address on my network PC. I'm going to use it for verification or for troubleshooting. So without any waste of time, let's start by opening our management PC. And on our management PC, I'm going to click terminal. In real life situation, you can get a free terminal emulator uh, like party. That's the emulator that I normally use for my lab test. Gonna press enter. I'm already inside my switch. The mode that I'm, I'm in is user mode or user exec. The mode that I'm in is called user mode. User mode has limited show commands. And in order for us to move from user mode to privilege mode, we have to type enable. Privilege mode has more commands than, or more show commands than user mode. For example, I'll type show run and press tap. If the command was available on the user mode, it was going to finish it for me. And even if I've, if I can press enter, you can see it says invalid input detected at, and then it shows the, the marker there. So meaning that command doesn't belong to user mode. So let's move one step forward and get inside the, okay, let's get into the exec mode. And the command for us to move from user mode to exec mode is enable. Press enter, we are now in the privilege mode. If I can do the same command that I did in user mode, show run and press tap, it's fin it finished the, the switch finished the command for me, which is show running configuration. If, if I press enter, it shows my running configuration. If we want to go to global configuration mode, the command that we have to give it's configure okay let me uh, type conf and then press tap finish for me is configure and then i press t then press tap so our command to move from privilege mode to global configuration mode uh, it's configure terminal then press enter now we are in the global configuration mode and that's the mode where we can configure our switch so as I've said, we are going to configure three things. We're going to start with configuring the IP address for our switch, line VTY for remote login, and line console for serial port interface or for serial port login. So in order for us to give our switch an IP address, we have to create an interface VLAN one. 
that interface is a virtual interface it's not a physical interface it doesn't exist on the hardware or on the switch itself but when we give that interface an IP address all of our ports that belong to the switch will be under the interface VLAN 1 and the IP address goes with a subnet mask the subnet mask is there to show us two things there's a path that shows the, the network and the part that shows the host let me give the command and then I'll explain it a bit further I'll type interface VLAN 1 enter and we are in interface configuration mode IP address okay IP address make it 10.10.1.10 with subnet max 255.255.255.0 in our case uh, the 255.255.255 the first three octets are representing the network and the last octet which is zero represent the host so insider is slash 24 which in our case uh, has 254 hosts uh, zero is not used because it's a network address and 255 is not used because it's a broadcast address so let me press enter so that the command can be applied on our switch so before i can turn on the interface let me do give this command do show ip interface brief as we can see vlan1 it's already created for us there it is okay let me give the command no shutdown no shutdown it's a command that turns on our interface okay as you can see the now that I did no shutdown command to, to the interface, you can see now the interface is up. At first when I did the show IP interface brief, there was no app showing on the interface. But now after uh, typing no shutdown, the interface is up, which tells us no shutdown really turns our interface up. In order to show you that all parts of a switch belong to the virtual interface I have to give the command show villain brief so that we can see it so without wasting time inside my management PC let me give the command show villain brief let me enlarge this as we can see villain it's VLAN 1, the name is default, status is active, and the post that belong to VLAN 1 is first Ethernet 0 slash 1 up to gig 0 slash 2. So all our ports are inside the virtual interface. Now in order for us to check if we can log in remotely, I'm gonna go back to my waking interface. Or my waking place and then get inside my network PC go to command prompt and I'll try to telnet to my switch telnet 10.10.1.10 as you can see it says connection to 10.10.1.10 closed by foreign host meaning we are not allowed to log in or to work in to work remotely so let me go back to my management pc okay we are done with ip configuration now 
uh, we move on to a line console so let me go into global configuration mode and then to do the console port configuration I have to type line console 0 enter and I'm, I'm inside the configuration mode for console port and I must give it the password I'm gonna make it one two three and then login in order to have login credentials or to access the switch while I'm in console port or while I'm using console port to configure my switch then after this let me go back to my to my network PC and then try to tell net again I can see still no joy now we go back to our management PC and then right now in our management PC uh, what I want to do is to configure the line VTY for remote login or actually before I can configure the line VTY for login let me end this session now that I've ended my session I'm gonna try to log in again and see what's going to happen okay let me press enter if you remember when we started with our lesson we were in user mode when we logged in right now that I pressed enter I'm not in user mode it's asking me for a password and the password that we configured is for console port so meaning it's asking us for console port password which is one two three enter and then I'm inside the user mode I'm able I'm in privilege mode configure terminal I'm in configuration mode now we can configure our live VTY for remote login so the command that I have to give is line VTY 0 to 4 and also give it password just like console port I'll give it 1 2 3 4 and press enter and then login enter now that we have given those command let me go back to my network PC and then let's try to tell net we can see right now we are able to tell net it's asking us for a password if we put in the console port password we will see that it won't work let me try it one two three enter you see it's not working because it's for serial port let me type my line vty password which is one two three four and see what will happen okay we are inside the user mode let's try to we are inside the user mode now let's try to access the privilege mode enable enter it's not allowing us to access the privilege mode as you can see it says no password set so in order to solve this let's go back to our management pc again and then now we're gonna set the password or create a security for our privilege mode and to do that we have to give the command enable secret and then our password and the command enable secret will be encrypted is the one that's encrypted and if we give the command enable password and then type our password that one it will be in clear so anyone who has access to our running configuration can see that password if we give enable password which is like let me give it enable okay uh, let me end the session okay 
Now we are in privilege mode. In order for us to configure the password for privilege mode, let's go to local configuration mode and then give the command enable secret one, two, three, four, five. Now that we give the now that we give the command. Let's go to our network PC and check if we can be able to get uh, into remote login and also be able to access the privilege mode and global configuration mode. Okay, right now we are inside our network PC. I'll give the command enable. It's asking for a password, which is the privilege mode password which is one, two, three, four, five, enter. Right now I'm in privilege mode. And to get into global configuration mode, we have to type the command comt. Let's see if it's working. Configure terminal. Now we are able to even get to configuration mode or global configuration mode. So now that we are in, maybe let's give one simple command to show that we are able to configure or work in, inside the configuration mode. I'll give the switch do IP interface brief. My mistake, uh, the command is a do show IP interface brief. I wanted to say do show do show IP interface brief and enter and we can see that we are able to configure our switch remotely. Hope this was informative and you gained a lot from this lesson. Please don't forget to subscribe and also leave the comments whether you liked the video or you didn't like or you want to give us pointers on how to grow our channel. A comment is something that builds us or that gives us morale to come back and do better. Thank you and have a nice day.